This story starts by a 35-year-old mother running over the boy who was tormenting her son, and then after she runs him over, putting in reverse and backing over him twice. This story is about Jennifer Nelson, a 35-year-old mother of a 15-year-old boy from Long Island. They live in Shirley. Her son had been being bullied for quite a while, for a number of months, and the mom had gone to the school and made numerous reports. And according to the defense attorney I spoke to, Paul D'Amelio, the school did nothing on October 7th of last year. She got a call from her son who was being bullied by a small group of boys his age. Eventually, he gets a chance to call his mother to come get him. She's at work. She leaves work, jumps in her car, rushes over there. And there she finds her son across the street from the school, surrounded by these kids. So she like rushes into this little crowd, grabs him, pulls him out, puts her in his, her car and drives him across the street to the school where they make yet another complaint. According to the district attorney, the part where she leaves and goes to make a complaint is immediately followed up by her running over the boy who was tormenting her son with her 2020 on the passport. And then after she runs him over, putting it in reverse and backing over him twice. The injuries suffered by the 14 year old boy who was run over by Ms. Nelson, they are not insignificant. He had a fractured pelvis, fractured ribs. One of his ribs punctured his lung. He had significant injuries. The district attorney's office is charging Jennifer Nelson with attempted murder in the second degree, leaving the scene of an accident where someone was seriously injured, assault, and reckless endangerment. Also adding to the seriousness of the allegations against Ms. Nelson are right after this happened, Ms. Nelson tried to trade in her 2020 Honda Passport to get rid of any evidence of what she had done. There are some strange circumstances surrounding this one. Like I was there early and I was waiting for Ms. Nelson to show up and I was talking to the court officers. And the court officer was listening to the charges, you know, attempted murder. And she said, so she's in? And when, when someone says she's in, that means she's back in lockup, she's in jail. And I said, no, 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 she was ROR'd, meaning she was released under her own recognizance. The court officer looked at me kind of strange and said, she ran over a 15 year old kid, right? Like a couple of times. I said, yeah. She goes, no, you don't get ROR'd on that. She either had to post like half a million dollar bail or she's in, I'll go check. And then she came out like wide eyed and shocked. And she said, I can't believe it. She was ROR'd and she was ROR'd by one of our toughest judges. So I don't understand what happened here. And I was like, I don't either. During her last court appearance, her private attorney, Paul D'Amelia, put in a request for the court to allow him to step aside and for the court to assign a court appointed attorney that the state will pay for. Mr. Hernandez, uh, you're now assigned to, be to represent Ms. Nelson. And the judge appointed an attorney based on the fact that she can't afford a private attorney in this case. I've seen people petition the court for a court-appointed attorney before, but usually earlier on in the process, not two court appearances in. She's due back in court on April 18th. I'm really interested to see the evidence, the video evidence that the district attorney has. There has to be, based on the parking lot, I went to the parking lot, I walked the parking lot, and I was looking around, and there's a good chance that the Suffolk County Prosecutor's Office has been able to get some kind of video of exactly what happened. But they're not making it available to us. They're not really talking about it. I think they're waiting for their day in court and we will be there, we will watch it. So if you wanna follow along as we cover news stories for the New York Post, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.